I miss Telly like it is. And I hope everybody's doing wonderful out there because I am doing grand. I am sitting here enjoying nature. There is nothing like enjoying nature. Why do I love nature so much? Because when I look at nature, nature is it's so beautiful. Nature is so serene. Nature works in harmony. But what about mankind? No, mankind never works in harmony. Mankind is always at war with one another. Never can accept one another's differences. But if we can learn from nature, we would learn how to get along. We would learn how to work out each other's differences. We would learn how to respect one another. And this world would be a whole better place. And one thing I love about nature, when you're around nature, nature is positive. I can feel the positive energy from nature. And if you ever look at nature, it will teach you a lot of things about yourself. Why? Because we are connected to nature, you all. In fact, we are connected to this whole universe. Why? Because when the Creator breathed His breath into us, that caused us to be a living soul, to know the difference between good and evil. So we're connected to the universe and we're also connected to the soil. Why are we connected to the soil? We're connected to the soil because we came from dirt, so we're actually connected to the trees. We're connected to the flowers. We're connected to the earth. And that's what I love. I love to be connected to nature. Because to be connected to nature is to understand yourself. But there are those who are not connected to nature. They're out of tune and out of touch spiritually with themselves. And why? Because they're out of touch and out of harmony with their creator. They're out of harmony with the universe. They're out of harmony with the earth. And therefore, they have a spiritual imbalance. And when you have a spiritual imbalance, you cannot respect anybody's differences. You can't love. And you can't have inner, inner, inner peace. But when you are in tune with nature, and you're in tune with the universe, then you can be at peace with yourself and therefore you can be at peace with everyone around you and therefore that is the example of true happiness. True happiness is having a spiritual balance between the universe and the earth and being connected as one. And when you're connected to nature and the universe, which is the creator, and you have a balance, then you can be spiritually balanced, emotionally balanced. And when that is in tune, then you can have complete harmony with mankind. And that's what I love, you all. That's what I love. I love nature. I love the moon. I love the sun. I love the stars. I love the water. I love the soils. I love the air. I love all of it. And I love to be in tune with the Creator. I love to be in tune with the earth. And that's why I have so much respect 
for the creator and I have so much respect for the earth. There are those that don't have respect for the universe and they don't have respect for the earth. That's why they can pollute the air. That's why they can pollute the soils. That's why they can pollute the water. And if you ask me, I think it's all out of jealousy. Because think about it. When some men can't be God, then what do they try to do? They try to destroy the creation of the creator. Which let me tell you something. The creator will never allow man to destroy. Him. The creator will never allow that. Before man completely destroys the creation, the creator will allow all those that he created to be destroyed. Except for a few. But don't worry to be absent from your body. is to be placed back into your spiritual selves in which you came from. Because this physical body is just a house of clay of dirt in which your spirit and soul is housed in. So which means to be absent from this body, you go back to the original spiritual being in which you were originally before you were placed in your mother's womb. So while you're here on this earth, enjoy everything about it. But it's not the big things that make you happy, but it's the small things. Take nothing for granted, you all. Nothing. Make everything right within your life. Learn to forgive those who have hurt you. Because forgiveness is for you, not for them. Never try to be vengeful. But always allow the creator to be the avenger. Let love be your guide. And therefore you will have a peace of mind. And your soul will be at rest. We all have a choice, you all. The Creator all gave us a choice to be good or to be evil. Remember, whatever choice you choose is the choice you will have to live with. Always know that no matter what you're going through in life, you're never alone. Even sometimes when you feel alone. When you're stressed out and you're full of anxiety, just stop. Take a deep breath in within your nostrils and exhale out of your mouth. And think of something positive and peaceful. Go by a peaceful place, whether it be the water, whether it be a park, Rather it be the woods, go somewhere peaceful in nature and enjoy the serenity. Relax and let everything go. Know that we are just passing through this land. This is not our homes. We all have an appointed time. So make your time useful while you're here on this earth. I miss telling like it is. This was a spiritual talk. I hope you enjoyed it. I love all of you out there. I have a love for humanity. And always remember your spiritual walk is a day by day process. It doesn't come overnight.
None of us is never perfect. We will never be perfect. But to begin to know where you're going in life, you have to realize where you're at. And you have to reflect on the good and bad things about yourself. And then you have to ask yourself, what do you want to change to bring yourself that inner peace that you need and to be able to flow in harmony like nature, like the universe. like the creatures in the soil. True happiness is having a balance between the creator and the universe and the soils. That's true happiness. True happiness is being in tune with your creator, being in tune with the earth and having a balance between where you came from, the universe, and the soils. I miss tell it like it is. I just told it like it is. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel. Push notification buttons. Share. And like. I'm out.